So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Oh my god. Been, well, Arthur is such a gossipy me. bitch. The mind boggles. Right. I love you him. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. I think we could get Bo to rob his family. TBH. Yeah. If we spin him tales of the life that he could have with Penelope, once he and her run away together, he's just got to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of the starter fund. I think we're going to go talk to the Braithwaite's. Well, now, maybe we could uh, plant that seed in Penelope's brain. <laughs> Unless she's still out being an activist, which honestly I love for her. Yeah, same. Oh! <gasps> oh! Yeah, the title screen. I keep getting we have this arrived. one. Wow. Yeah, look at that. It is pretty. Even if it conjures up. I don't know. Nest. Evil energy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. <laughs> I love Hosea. He's such a... A charming thief. Because he's just yeah. as bad as the rest of them, but I find him incredibly charming. Right? Old school cool. He's got, like, silver fox energy. Yeah, exactly. The silver tongue. Mm-hmm. He's been what at it for want? a long time. Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Mm. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy okay, enough. This is a bad bitch what right here. Deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Really? All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. 
Here we go. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. <laughs> you're the idiot. <laughs> Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that. The sheriff you? knows <laughs> us. He knows our face. Wait, what hang on. What are we doing here? <laughs> What's even happening uh, here? Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll... Oh, poor mammy's hot. <laughs> uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, now. Huh? <laughs> I cannot with them. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. Right. Honestly, I love this. They say, you know, if it if it hadn't been a life of crime, they should have joined a theater troupe. Exactly. They That's have what the I temperament too. for it. Each and every one of them. Yes. They all sing. Karen too, like Karen's yes. act in the bank robbery. Yes. Oh. Ugh. She deserves an Oscar for that. <laughs> Truly, they are they are a talented group. Indeed. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff. Jose, and follow me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? Jose, not this backstory. All of the backstory. We don't need this. This lore is not what we need. It doesn't need to go that deep. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we gotta get our story straight. Like, no, we don't. Gentlemen, <laughs> I'm a mute Gentlemen. character. <laughs> to town, you have you. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. It, How'd you that's boys, so not necessary. You boys like a couple of bucks. I bet you would. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. That's how you get a liquor license back in the day, I guess. Yup. Gentlemen! Oh my gosh. Gentlemen! My name is Milk! That's my brother Fink! <laughs> he killed funny, our mother, but, boy, but it weren't he his fault. Drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the show, bar, man. everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more, Fenton. Now it's your opportunity. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Another bottle, Fenton. These men are dry. And it is the drunk. Come on. Where's oh. mine? My boys, let's go. You're fine, man. Fine, man. Fit. Fine, man. Don't you. listen to your brother. Down, Over Come here, Fit. Come along. <laughs> 30 minutes, huh? <laughs> hey! Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Drink up, drink up. Fit. Serve these men! Serve these men! Ooh! Ooh! It's a dangerous <laughs> room! <laughs> Open bar, oh, yeah. gentlemen! Let's have some fun here! What? What? Hit the spot! Keep them coming, Finn! Just keep them coming! <laughs> Everyone's so nice here! <laughs> drink up! Drink! Uh, Moin Raiders! Good evening, gentlemen! Quiet libation! You! Me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! 
We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. Shit. Well, sh hell. Bastard. Take them now too. Yeah, there you go. Health. I can take like a tonic, yeah. Yeah. See, we need to get you better guns. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. That's a good question. Maybe. This place is odd. Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine, as well. Let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Why do I feel like I'm going to get a mission later saying that Jose never so came what home? what do you think? About <laughs> what? We find folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get <laughs> us in trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves Degents in the middle of something. and drunkards, gonna know we them my people. Because <laughs> even yep. without us, these fools are going to kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. Oh, and no. We'll love them both. Before they figure Dutch out it was us, a terrible again, idea. the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. What? Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all got to pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. 